What is happening, y'all? Cowboy here, and welcome to the next game that we are going to be covering. We checked it out on stream to see if we were going to vibe with it, and damn, it's looking like it's going to be good. Welcome to Monster Hunter Stories 2, Wings of Ruin. So the main reason I even streamed the demo, I didn't play the original. Um, I got like the the uh, demo version for it and tried it out. And you know, I just, I didn't really like the first one. Um, but we tried out this, we tried the demo for this on stream, had a blast with it. Um, the combat in this, like, uh, I'll, let me say this. If you're a Pokemon fan and you've been disappointed with kind of how lackluster Pokemon games have been, you need to play Monster Hunter Stories too. Because, dude, the amount of stuff going on in the combat of this game... Like, at first glance, I was like, oh, it's just like rye, paper, scissors, that's it. No. There's so much going on in this game, and I'm going to have a blast playing it. So, I know originally I was talking about streaming this, but the thing is, there is a story, and then there's obviously a lot of just kind of running around and getting eggs and all that. So, we're actually going to be doing both. Uh, we're going to be streaming and focusing on just kind of collecting monsters and doing all that on the streams. And then on the episodes, we will be focused on uh, progressing the story and whatnot. So obviously, we are going to start from the very beginning, despite the fact that I already streamed some of this, just for those that did not get a chance to catch those streams. We are starting from the beginning. We got the Kamura grab for that, that uh, rise save. Obviously, we're playing on the Switch. Um, I mean, playing on PC would have been better in terms of like load times and graphics and all that. But let's be honest. I mean, if I'm playing the Monster Hunter game, I want to be able to play it to go. Let me show, take off the head armor. Uh, where was my hair? Where's my character? I think we gave him that. The eyes we kept. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time. All I'll say is don't don't do the teeth. Don't do the teeth. Or the you can do the ooh, ooh face. No, we're just gonna keep our our dude is is very vanilla. Uh, let's change it. looking like a, a young cowboy. This is me in my early years. We're gonna go three. Name. Wait, no! No, oh god. Le cowboy. There we go. All right. Voice is good. Face is good. Eyes. Let me make my my eyes are like a super super bright blue, like a sky blue. Yeah, like a there. Okay. All right. We are good. Cowboy is ready to go. There's a couple cutscenes and stuff we got to get through. This first episode, probably going to go about an hour. We're going to be aiming to, to push past a lot of the demo content. Um, you know, basically catch y'all up on the story. But either way, we got a pretty dope intro here. Uh, this is actually part of what kind of hooked me at the start. I did not expect the intro to be as good as it was. So either way, I'm going to go on mute for a bit. Y'all watch this and we're getting into it. Send to us from 
I have to hurry. See you again. What is this? This is a bad sign. crazier intro than what we have with like the other Monster Hunter games but man they what they do a good job at, <laughs> at setting the stage man Rathalos lives there. Don't you think you should have mentioned that? What do you mean, dangerous? The Rathalos that inhabits the sacred mountain is Guardian Ratha. He protects this island. Huh? The people it injured might say otherwise. That's... That's because you raised your weapons at him. So you're saying this is the new you stand before a monster unarmed? This is a rider's island. Brandishing weapons at Guardian Ratha is an unforgivable act. Peak waifu status. Have you all lost your collective minds idolizing a wild Rathalos? Give me a break. Uh, I'll give you a break, all right. Okay, that's enough. Knock it off, both of you. The main reason we invited hunters to our island's festival. 
Was so that we could foster a little goodwill between us. Kane is right, besides. There are children listening. Please calm yourselves. Uh, yes, sir. Well then, let's listen to the hunter's point of view, shall we? Why would you call Guardian Ratha dangerous? Because we were tipped off. Ray's Wing Ratha, the monster with the wings of ruin, lives on this island. The, uh, the wings of ruin? Hmm, yes. It's said that a beat of its wings can bring about waves of destruction. Hmm. Chief, do you know about the wings of ruin? Because I've never heard of them. Ah, yes, the wings of ruin. Legend has it that a long time ago, Arathalos, born in this region, brought terrible chaos and destruction to our world. But, but, that's, that's only a legend, right? Who can say? In any case, our top priority right now is to determine the cause of these strange happenings. Yes, of course. Why did the ocean change color? What was that light? And where did all the Rathalos go? So much we don't understand. Let's organize an expedition team and survey the area. You got it. Want to join the expedition too? Yep. I don't know. This could be dangerous. And this kid only just became a real rider. You're worried about Guardian Ratha, aren't you? That makes sense. He was your grandpa's monster, after all. Your grandfather, Red, was a fine, upstanding rider. He led our tribe and protected the island alongside Guardian Ratha for many years. Uh, I sure wish he was still around now. I bet he'd know what to do. You'll join the team. Chief Gara, are you sure about this? It's a big job to dump on a rookie's shoulders. Not to worry, Kana. You'll go together. Kana can guide you. Use the experience to learn what you're capable of, and what you must do as a rider. So, I'll be a teacher? Something wrong? No way! It sounds kind of cool, actually. If that's what you want, Chief, I'm all for it. Okay. Rider class is now in session. You'd better keep up, newbie. First things first. Go change into your rider gear. Oh, wow. You look the part already. Meet me at the stables when you're ready. We'll start with rider rule number one. Birth of a rider. Talking, confirming, and saving. Got it. Let's see. I'm trying to remember where I use my amiibos at. Is it. Is it you? Well, let me just go talk to. Talk to her. I don't think. I think I need to go through a couple things. Trying to pull up the menu. Took you long enough. Hey, hey, you need to lighten up, newbie. You'll be fine. You've got Red's jeans, don't you? Not to mention, I'll be by your side. You're sure to become a top notch rider in no time. Yeah, that's the spirit. Let's get started. Rider rule number one. Riders form bonds with monsters, and they in turn become our monsties. Which reminds me, you still don't have a monstie, right? Then the first step is to go out and hunt for an egg that'll hatch one. 
You can use one of my monsties during your search. This here is Ronmar. He's a bit wild, but once you get the hang of riding him, he won't lead you astray. You know, newbie, seeing you takes me back to the time when I first rode a monsty. <sighs> anyway, enough about me. There's something very important I need to tell you. Monsties are like an extension of our bodies, you know? They take us wherever we want to go, but they're not to be manipulated. They're living creatures. You could even say they're our best friends. You need to care for them, and always remember to show your gratitude. Okay, as long as you understand that, you're set. Here, take this. Your rider's notes. In it, you can find helpful info about monsters and all the rider fundamentals. Try opening the menu to read all of your notes. Now that we've got that settled, it's time to go egg hunting. I can't wait to get started. Next, to open the camp menu, items, map, field guide, some more. Equipment from camp menu to range weapons, armor, talismans, different gear to improve attack and defense. Okay, let me go. I want to get some other weapons. So you can have three weapons, so it makes sense to have uh, a pierce type, a blunt type, and a Hiya. slash type. Uh -huh. I'm so I think I'm just trying to get ahead of myself a little bit here. Let's go and get our I'll get we'll get our first monsty. I'm still not sure. I think I'm like from what I've played, I haven't actually used sword or shield bow, uh, or the hunting horn. So, I'll probably make one of each. Gunlance is really fun. Sorry, I know I like Gunlance, but I'd at least give Bow a try. And then, uh, Hammer's pretty simple, but... I don't know, Hunting Horn has the advantage of, you know, party buffing, which is always good. So, I'll have to try that and see if I like that more. Now the question is, will RN Jesus bless me with the same luck he gave me uh, when I was streaming? Start picking up everything I see. So that is the, uh, the rock, paper, scissors system of the combat. Which that really only comes into play uh, in head-to-heads. So since he's going to do power, we go to speed. Super over the top. You
Its herbs and all that to heal. Oh, I'm not worried about it. She'll give me one. Let me grab some stiff. Number one rule of Monster Hunter, grab everything you see. I thought I saw something there. camera slapping normal yeah it's better well we already know that they prefer to have speed because I have one myself so we are gonna go with a technical attack. Boom. This is when you're playing. Like if I attack this guy, I don't get the head-to-head. -head. So I always want to try triggering head-to-heads. Is always a benefit. We're about to get right on. Skills from the menu to use your skills. The cost of kinship without sufficient charge to be unable to skills also awesome attack types to make sure you're head to head. Well, these will automatically select the action at the start. When the bar's full. Oh, really? You're not. Damn it. I was gonna go for a ride. She wants me to, to do a charge. Get to didn't get to ride. Get the kinship skill. Kinship skills are the good stuff. It's like super flashy attacks. Swim. Grabbing everything. They call me the Forager. Hold on. 
Something's here. Keep quiet and stay close, okay? That's a Kuluyaku. But what in the world is it doing? are you? You look like a feline, but somehow different. Yeah. With my whip beyond compare and unparalleled flair, you're absolutely right! I'm not like other felines now that you mention it. I'm the legend, the feline hero. That's right, I'm Naviru! Naviru, best character. Uh, Naviru? Um, I've never heard of any feline hero. It's back! Persistent Kulu, class B! Hey, buddy, you're a rider, right? Huh? How about you take care of this bumbling bird? No way. This kid's still a rookie. Don't worry! I'll be right here to lend a helping paw! Come, cat friend. Well, looks like it's time to ride on! I think Kulu is technical. Approaching me, charge cut, charge me up to two blocks. I mean, Sword and Shield does look pretty good at certain times.
Blunt slash pierce. Our weapons using axe are from skills in battle. Different weapons to find out what's most effective. Completely drain monster's part gauge to break it. You can receive dropped items for breaking parts at the end of battle. Breaking parts may knock down or prevent it from using certain skills. So I guess, I wonder is the hammer just better in general at all breaks? I'm attacking the rock in particular. I'm gonna guess it's gonna go back to technical. Now that the rock's gone. Though sword is better, so. Oh, it just wants me to stick with my, my hammer. Yes. Attack tilt's dead. Oh, you know what? It probably wants me to do it. Yeah, now's your chance to ride on. That's what it wanted me to do this. But yeah, we didn't get the ride on tutorial yet. Miss this in the demo, so I want to build this up to level three, and then nuke. Double kinship. Oh no, it wants me to do the kinship. Double kinships are so freaking over the top. Like literally some Dragon Ball Z shit. <laughs> the bomb going off practically. Say no to a couple of donuts. <laughs> you know, you could just ask for something to eat if you're hungry. Ow! Hey! Get back, you guys! Who said I was monster munchies? Uh, 
<laughs> this furball's not like other felines, huh? But hey, you got an egg out of the deal. Wanna head home? You know, I just realized in the demo, I thought the Kulu was trying to attack that egg. Like, trying to destroy it. Um, but thinking about it now, I think it was... I think that was like the... It was a Mama Kulu. And I think we stole her baby and then we killed her. Like, I'm almost positive that's what happened. That's real messed up. I need an egg. Kill this Kulu. Look at this great egg we found. Hmm. Excellent. Excellent, he should have said. And you're the one who found this egg? Yep, that's right. I can tell a good egg just by the smell. I see. Just as Kana said, you are an odd feline. And you clearly know quality when you see it. It's a very fine egg, I'd say. You're going to hatch a great little monster from it. I wonder what kind of monster it'll be. I can't wait to find out. Go on, stand in front of it. ceremonial dance of our people we perform it to bring luck to a ship's voyage or to pray that a strong and healthy monster will hatch from an egg whoa awesome moves up your kinship stone. It will link your heart with your monstie and help it hatch. Believe in yourself. You can do this. Stats, not too shabby. Oh, the, in the demo, I got a uh, a rainbow jean Kulu. I mean, it's a Kulu. I ain't gonna keep it around for long. It worked. It's a cool Yaku. Nicely done. It's already accepted you as its rider. I'm so proud. If only your grandfather were here to see this. <laughs> Just touch your face. Huh? What you doing, Ronmar? You want to stay with the rookie? Seriously? And after everything I've done for you? Ronmar's just being honest with his feelings. Perhaps if you were gentler with him, maybe. Hmm? Oh, is that so, Mr. Hero? I ought to wash your mouth out of soap. <laughs> I'm sure this is animal abuse. Come now, Kana, there's no harm in it. All right, fine. After seeing how much you've bonded, I can't exactly object. Just take good care of Ronmar, okay? That feel when you're you gonna replace them pretty fast. Together to help each other grow. Got it? <laughs> nice going, buddy. 
<laughs> oh, I love the cat. Right. You've got Ronmar as a monster now, too, so... Ah, what good timing. There's a new monster den on Ryder Overlook. You'll go investigate for me, won't you? Ryder Overlook, huh? That sure takes me back. Going there is a rite of passage for new riders. Your grandpa had me go there all by myself. I still hadn't gotten the hang of handling Ronmar. It was a real thrill ride, I can tell you that. All riders have to strike out on their own someday. This is your chance to test yourself. No need to worry now. Don't you think, Kana? Chief Gara is right. You may still be a rookie, but I trust you to take this on alone. Oh, and you're gonna need Ronmar to get up there. That little beastie just loves to climb up high. I'll help too. Just say the word, buddy. Okay, before you go, it's time for another lesson. The next essential for being a rider is combining. You can make lots of items to help in the field or during battle. Just select Combine from the camp menu and mix several items together to create something new. Here, take this combo recipe and try making a potion. It shouldn't be too hard to find the ingredients. You're gonna need to know about the quest board too. So, meet me there when you're ready for your next lesson. Yeah, over the, looking over the overlook. I got the stables. Okay, combine potions. Quantity three. Nope. Do I not have total health for? I don't think I have any blue mushrooms. Uh, no, wait, I have one. Yeah. One's better than none. Um, this one. I gotta get my. Oh, we can do this too. Let's do the prayer pot. Prayer pot bestows various blessings when you pray to it, offer a charm to retain effects of its blessing for a certain length of time. There we go. Use the amiibo to do so. So use the amiibo from Pearpot and touch the MC. Can offer you fortune telling services once per amiibo each day. We get an item depending on the fortune. A special first time bonus for a certain amiibo. Well, we are about to try a Magnamalo amiibo and see what we get. Using a special amiibo for the first time got you a bonus. Hunter sticker set. Cool. Fortune could be ready, and your fortune is crescent moon. Mm. Moon's blessing is with you, surrogate gem. Wait, what is what? What is a surrogate gem? Can I do this more than once? Goes through a little sequence again. Crescent moon. Too bad. The moon's blessing is with you, Might Charm. Full moon. Excellent. Hakalo honey, heart churro, and mulberry elixir. XP gain in battle increased by 1%. Doesn't apply to story boss quest rewards or monster expedition parties. Ugh, 1%, kinda dookie. Charm that increases damage down to 8% for 30 minutes. It's actually, yeah, I'll hang on to that with some. I guess let's do the training pair, whatever. Experience is experience. Welcome. Welcome. So, all kinds of items. Okay, market. Hana Dunker. Oh, Armory and Smithy, you. that's what we want. I'm gonna try out the other three weapons that Welcome. I didn't do in the demo. Uh, forge. 
Let me buy. Slash type weapon, charge skills, use even stronger skills. Good balance between attack and defense. Use of heavy hitting slash type skills while also reducing damage. Some skills block or parry attacks. I like the idea of a parry. Putting a head to head levels up the charge gauge, enabling use of stronger skills with skills that are especially effective against opponents afflicted with abnormal. Huh. The hunting horn. Optimized for team support. Besides regular attacks, variety of skills for supporting. Gun Lance is obviously badass. Head to head earns you extra ammo and will let you use skills. The normal attacks won't fill the gauge. Use a skill to win a head to head for a big charge to the kinship gauge, but normal attacks won't fill the gauge. So I need to do a lot of skills. Um, and the bow. People afflicting abnormal status. Use a charge skill for a higher chance of afflicting with an abnormal with your next attack. So it sounds like maybe if I was gonna use bow, I should be, um, I should be doing bow and hammer since hammer is able to take advantage of that stuff. Let me see how much it would be to forge weapons because I want to try uh, some of the other weapons. Damn, it's gonna cost. Gonna cost a lot of zenny. Um. Well, I don't have a pierce weapon, so... Wait, how many do I need? Oh, wait, I don't even have the money for this. Hang on. Look at the bows real fast. Piercing, sleep, rapid fire, and power, spread, and poison. I mean, that's stronger? Let me... Thank you. I mean... I just need to get a, a hundred so I can sell her Welcome. Welcome. one of the things. Trade and items, okay. So talismans. Archero, surrogate gem, a thrown item that allows an ally to negate damage taken once. At least it's light on impact, huh. Um, well, that doesn't sound that useful. We'll sell that. And I tried to craft sonic bombs. We'll sell that. That gives me exactly enough. Oh, I really cool. hope that the bow is actually fun because I'm using my Kulu parts for it. But Welcome. I mean, I didn't see a. Uh... Yeah, so there's Kulu. The Kulu Duda or the Kulu Hammer. Well, I don't have a ranged. I don't have a pierce, so I think doing this actually makes the most sense. Use the one plume, that's worth oh no, I only need four points. Nope. And now we have one weapon of each type. Thank you. All right, so we figured out where to do the, uh, figured out amiibo. I wonder what the blessings do exactly. Status. Fire notes. Field facilities, stables. All right, this is just the stuff that I saw already. Um, I want to run by my house, which is. Let's look at the map. So there's little icons. And Netacan. Connect to the world and get your paws on more stuff. One coat. All kinds of adorable little outfits for the waifu. Yo! The Lux Kit. Alright, so even if I download that right now, I don't think I have enough. Launch starter pack. Here's a free item pack. 
All right, well, all of this is going to be eShop stuff, so I'll, I'm going to go and I'll pick all that up uh, after this episode. For sure, especially the starter pack. Those are always good. And this should be us, all right? Yes. I want to change into the Kamara set. Navi Root Outfits. Navi Root. Let's try chest. Appearance, including color of your armor at the chest in your house, lets you view kinship skills and cutscenes you've seen before. Outfits for Naviru there. I can give myself a haircut, put on makeup, change my armor color. Layered armor. Yeah. Putting that on for sure. Oh, I can change it too. Um, let's go. What's the default blue? I kind of like this darker blue more. Yeah, we're gonna do that. And then that, let's do like a... Yeah, a yellow, like a, like a blue and gold. Yo! Look like a little samurai. Alright, I'm talking to Naviru. And then bed is obviously we go here to save the game. Like old school days, Monster Hunter. Like go to your village and save. Alright. Um, so yeah, I think this seems like a pretty good spot to take a little break. Oh, uh, actually we could let's let's we'll do one more thing before we end here. So we gotta go on out and get get the goodies, but let's um talk to her real fast about the board. Completing, you need to check in with the client or at the quest board to finish and receive your rewards. Some can only be completed in a particular time frame. Objective marker after enabling and press R to toggle between markers for different quests. Now accept subquests. So the trial quests, these are like arena, basically. Um, I mean, it may, I want to get it in one turn, so I might as well just wait until uh, folks are a little bit stronger. Um, but as for these, I can just pick them all up. And then turning those in will actually level up any monsters I have, so it makes sense to just grab all those now. Uh, but either way, we are going to wrap this episode up here. Just, you know, figure the first episode, go a little bit longer, kind of push through uh, a big chunk of the content. Um, and then uh, in the next couple episodes, we'll probably get closer to like that 30 minute mark. But uh, I think we're going to hit that first area up. We'll we'll fight some stuff there. We'll get an egg. We'll start actually leveling the team. And then we're going to push our way, uh, you know, through the stuff that was in the demo and into the main game. So, yeah, stay tuned. And I will have more Wings of Ruin coming your way soon enough.